Hey guys, welcome back to Just Aviation. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Garuda Indonesia Airbus A330-900neo in the stand delivery. I'm fairly excited about this model because it's my first A330neo and you can probably all agree that it's a great aircraft. I got this model off my hobby house for around $50 to $55 in pre-order. So yeah, it was a pretty decent price. And that was three months ago when I ordered it. So the global crisis delayed it quite a bit. So yeah, let's get started with the unboxing. I'll first do a bit of a review on the box. So yeah, over here we've got the Airbus A330neo titles. We've got the Garuda Indonesia trademark and titles. We've got the 1 to 400 scale Platinum Series badge at the bottom right. And we've got the registration of the aircraft PKGHG, as well as some Indonesian um, tourist destination, which looks really nice. I personally really like nature on boxes instead of the aircraft itself. Um, yeah, so it's the same on the back side. The only real main difference is that it's got a different picture, um, limited edition written down, and some warnings as well as the Phoenix logo. Um, the sides of the boxes are different. Um, on this side of the box, we've got the color scheme of Garuda Indonesia and the Phoenix logo, which is right there. Um, and on this side, we've got the second half of the Garuda Indonesia color scheme with the Phoenix logo and the digitalized image of the aircraft. This is the same for pretty much each side. So now I'll just unbox the aircraft. So yeah, I just unboxed it. This time it wasn't a pain in the neck, unlike the Gemini Jets um, A380, which I just recently unboxed. This was fairly easy. And yeah, so here's inside the plastic casing. Looks pretty good. Um, it includes this plastic wrapper, which is to protect the aircraft. And it's fairly big for the size of the aircraft. So yeah, pretty impressed. Um, yeah, so I'll just take the aircraft out just like this, which is fairly easy. Um, yeah. So here is the model. It looks really, really good at first appearance. And I'm just loving the Garuda Indonesia color scheme. So now I'll just um, give you a bit of a rear of the aircraft itself. So at the front, we've got the black windows or the black tinted windows they look really good on the A330 Neo. The nose is shaped quite nicely and we've got some small um, detail over here like the Sky Team logo, the L1 door, we've got the last two letters of the registration Hotel Golf written on the landing gear. Landing gear is pretty solid, looks nice. Um, we've got some other little details like static ports. We've got um, the Indonesian flag, We've got the first antenna, and we've got doors over here. Uh, no, not doors, windows. And up here we've got, uh, it looks like a Wi-Fi hub, though it's not very big. And yeah, over here we've got the L2 door. We then have some more windows, and above that we've got the Garuda Indonesia logo and its titles, which are written over here. And then along the wing, we've got the Trent 7000 engine, so one of the two. They look really good and detailed and yeah, I'm really liking it. And yeah, over here we've got the amazing winglet. Um, yeah, it's colored from both sides, so it's well made and very well detailed. Over here we've got the L3 door, and then we've got some more doors. And then we've got the registration of the aircraft PKGHG, which is Papa Kilo Dash Golf Hotel Golf. And yeah, as well as that, we've got the starting of the um, Garuda, Indi Garuda Indonesia tail um, color scheme, which looks really nice. And as well as that, we've got the L4 door. And then over here, we've got the tail. Over here, we've got the uh, vertical stabilizers, which look really nice. 
and yeah as well as the horizontal stabilizers which isn't very visible but I guess it's because it has to match the color scheme and finally we've got the APU exhaust which is all right so yeah I'll just move the aircraft like this um, yeah it's it looks really good from the back detail on the uh, wings are really good and yeah so not much to show other than the vertical stabilizers which are pretty good and yeah it's almost the same on this side except it's got some cargo nerves. so now I'll just show you the bottom of the aircraft which is here it's really nice it's got some really good details such as some small components of the engine and it's got antennas at the bottom so phoenix's molds are getting really good now on the a330 as well as that we've got pkghd written under the right wing and sadly we've got the phoenix logo which is the first for me i've never had a phoenix logo on my aircraft so you're not happy with that but not too bad either um so yeah, that was the Garuda Indonesia Airbus A330 Neo in the stand livery. Um, yeah, it was really good. I'd give it like a solid 8.5 or 8.75 because it's a really nice model. So yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this review and I will see you in the next video. Bye.